The EMF Company was an early American automobile manufacturer that produced automobiles from 1909 to 1912. The name EMF was gleaned from the initials of the three company founders, Barney Everett a custom auto body builder from Detroit, William Metzger formerly of Cadillac, and Walter Flanders who had served as Henry Ford's production manager. Topic. Origins Topic. Everett Byron F. Barney Everett was born in 1872 at Ridgetown, Ontario, and learned wagon building in Chatham, Ontario. In the early 1890s, he worked for carriage maker Hugh Johnson in Detroit. In 1899 he started his own bodybuilding company, with orders from Ransom Olds, and then Henry Ford. In about 1904 his own first assembled car was the Wayne. The car model bearing his name was the Everett, 1909–1912. Metzger William E. Metzger was born 1868 in Peru, Illinois. He was one of the first car salesmen, a buyer and reseller and, in the late 1890s, established possibly the first United States automobile dealership, in Detroit. He was a key figure in the Association of Licensed Automobile Manufacturers, and also promoted early races at Gross Point. In 1902 he became affiliated with the Northern Motor Car Company and the same year helped organize Cadillac before taking orders at the New York Automobile Show in January 1903. <laughs> <laughs> Flanders Walter E. Flanders was born March 4, 1871 in Waterbury, Vermont. He was a machinist who started with servicing sewing machines during an apprenticeship at Singer Corporation, followed by an association with Thomas S. Walburn in general machining in Cleveland, Ohio, in the late 1890s. An order came from Henry Ford in Detroit to the company for a thousand crankshafts, and Ford was impressed by the response. Then in the early 1900s Flanders again worked with Walburn, this time for Ford at the Ford Piquette Avenue plant at the corner of Piquette and Bobine Streets in Detroit. Flanders became manager of manufacturing at the plant, where he also worked with the two future vice presidents in charge of manufacturing, Peter E. Martin, and Charles E. Sorensen. Flanders was replaced by those two when he resigned abruptly on 21 April 1908. Flanders' skill was in setting up and effecting time-saving procedures and methods at the plant, where engineers had developed the Model T in late 1907, which then began production in 1908, and led eventually to invention of the new moving assembly line to meet skyrocketing demand for the Model T in 1910. Topic. Overview In 1909, EMF bought the Detroit plant of the Deluxe Company and began production of EMF cars. EMF produced several models of its own design and contracted to sell them through Studebaker wagon dealerships. EMF vehicles outsold all but Ford. Late in 1909, EMF established a Walkerville, Ontario, branch plant to produce the EMF 30 and Flanders 20. Shortly afterward, EMF was bought out by Studebaker, which formed Studebaker Canada, and rebadged EMF's products. The EMF as the Studebaker 30, the Flanders as the Studebaker 20. Sales of these rebadged models continued through the end of 1912. Topic. Takeover 
Studebaker's president Fred Fish, son-in-law of John M. Studebaker, being unhappy with EMF's poor quality and lack of management, gained control of the assets and plant facilities at Detroit and Walkerville, Ontario, in 1910. To remedy the damage done by EMF, Studebaker paid mechanics to visit each unsatisfied owner and replace the defective parts in their vehicles at a cost of $1 million to the company. The EMF name continued into 1912 with the Studebaker name becoming more and more prevalent on the cars. In 1913, the EMF name was replaced by Studebaker. Problems aside, EMF vehicles had sold well in the growing marketplace. In 1909, EMF placed fourth, producing 7,960 vehicles in total U.S. automobile production, behind that of Ford Motor Company, Buick, and Maxwell, with Cadillac fifth. In 1910 the firm built 15,020 vehicles and again held on to fourth place behind Ford, Buick, and Overland. In 1911, the firm placed second in overall assemblies with 26,827 automobiles produced for the year. In his History of EMF, Anthony Yannick stated Studebaker built its strong automotive base on the shoulders of EMF. having purchased the entire company for an outrageous price in 1910." However, the EMF production figures had been underpinned by Studebaker's vast resources, and sales were largely dependent on Studebaker's reputation and marketing network. Flanders also ran the short-lived Flanders Automobile Company, which produced cars wholly based on previous EMF designs. The Flanders Company was absorbed into Maxwell Motor Company Incorporated, which was reorganized out of the assets of the United States Motor Company in 1913. On June 20, 2005, the EMF plant on Piquet Avenue at John R. caught fire and within a few hours it was gone. The five-alarm fire nearly spread to the famous Ford Piquet Avenue plant where Henry Ford built the first Model T. Topic. See also Brass era car